Alrighty, welcome back in. Uh, today we're going to play a little game. The game's called What Two Things Can I Smash Into Each Other to Make a Third Thing? It's a terrible name for a game. But it's the idea, the thoughts that count, right? You know, like when you get uh, uh, socks for Christmas, it's the thought that counts. Alright, so the idea here is how can we uh, sink items into walls, sink them into the floor, and make different items out of it. So for those of you in an older house, uh, even the UK, for example, this concept here, you'll have a toilet, you have the reservoir for the toilet up on the wall, and you have a pull chain. So this uses, as you can see there, the war banner. So you would need something above you that would uh, allow you to hide it, double thick floor above or something. Maybe, maybe there, this is up against a... Uh, like a wall or something of stone and that covers it otherwise it's going to be out in your face up there unless you can find some way to make that a feature up top but it's re really simple on this one you're going to set a block down like that you come up and you place the banner on the the uh, block and then you just remove the block it's the same thing with this this is this guy right here so it won't normally go into the wall, but if I do that, then I can set it in the wall and I can sink it back until it just comes back and I can place it right like that. And then you can go back to this, hit Y and get rid of the block and there it is. That's the way you can sink that in to give you some form of a reservoir looking uh, item in your wall. Next, I took the shower and the copper tub and kind of merged them together. And I think it looks fantastic, and I think that's the way the tub should have looked to begin with, because it's great. It just looks fantastic. On this one, I sunk the shower down one. So if I do this, you can see the shower is sunk down one into the floor, and then I just did that. Oop. Too far. Then I just did that when I sunk the shower down, grabbed my... Uh, what is this called? Bathtub. And I came this and I pulled it to where it just came out like that. And there you go. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It's a really nice design. Very easy to do. Sinking it down only one works out really well. This one is probably even easier. So I took the shower. Let's do it the right way. And I sunk it in until just that little top section there was visible, about like that. Now it's cool because it gives you this little lip here. And when you put the stone sink on, it actually looks like it fits exactly like it. So I just did my best to kind of line it up, boom, just like that. It looks like it was, that's just exactly what it was supposed to be. And so now you've got your faucet because the sink, the the uh, bathtub and all that, they have no actual faucet. So I thought that looked at pretty well. And then this guy gives you a way to do kind of um, like, like a more modern looking toilet. So it's very simple on this. I took the small polished wooden cupboard. I'm sure you could use any of them you like. I turned it around backwards, sunk it into the wall till it went red. And just pulled it out. Grab my happy little toilet right here. Just turn it around. And the two options you have, you can go all the way there until the back disappears. But then it doesn't look like it has a lid to shut over it. And then you can, or you can bring it just about like that. And I think it looks quite fantastic, actually. It's a very nice, little fancier looking toilet, if you will. So then over here, I took the braziers that a lot of us aren't able to make because the way the system is, is kind of bugged. It actually looks like that. So what I did is, so imagine this along your path. Uh, think of those solar lights that you would stick along a path. These would work great. And to be fair, they work great just like that. But I think a nicer touch is to come out and take out four pieces one deep nothing crazy we're, we're not you know going all over the place to get this thing kind of centered best you can doesn't have to be perfect 
Go back into here, hit Y four times. And that is as simple as it gets. Then you have this cool little... Now, these are sitting on a stone layer below them. That's sitting on the ground. That's why it's not exactly the same. But you get the idea. It's pretty cool. You get, get a little bit of uh, more interesting design. Over here, I went a little further. We got an outdoor spigot to your house. Uh, this is just the shower sunk into the wall as far as I could sink it. And it is down three. So I don't have another shower on me. I'll have to pick this up. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to have to dig it up if I do it. So you have to go down three levels. So if we go to this... You're going to go down there and there. And you, you need it to be a two block square, a four block square, excuse me. So you come down, it's going to set onto this piece here. And if you can imagine your wall is right here, then it's going to stick out of this and you can place your bucket down below. So this would be a good spot to put an outdoor shower, like if you, or not shower, an outdoor spigot. For a bucket, you want to have running water coming through your walls. Um, probably should have thought that further ahead so I could show you, but it really is. It's no different than what I did over here on those. Then we come to the pain in the ass that looks amazing. I mean, this is seriously a pain to build. Like, like no joke. Um, okay, if you've ever been to any castle that has uh, a water seep or a sewage seep they'll have this small arched that's also has iron uh gate on it or an iron um bars on it that le uh, lets all of the water that's collected in the streets of the castle out but doesn't let marauders in now it wouldn't be quite this tall this i used the iron door because it's the only one that has an arch in it and then iron window frames this has to be sunk down two, so it's four wide. Sorry, six wide, excuse me. Six wide because the door is four itself, and then you have this extra on the side. And But you have to go down two. Two. Get that there. So if you can imagine, I would have had... Let's go to like this. This stone block. And we'll, we'll do it kind of from the back side. There would have been three high. After that up, didn't I? There you go. So three high, four down. So, <laughs> like I said, this is a huge pain. But it, the result is outstanding. So you have to do the windows first. And they won't sit over the spot. So I had to do it like this. And then it'll kind of, if you're real careful, you can kind of get it to sit on onto itself. Out, it's just like I said, it's a pain. They, they really need, I should be able to snap this to the other window that devs really need to fix that. Come on, I got this to work over there. Get it to work here. All right, I'm going to cheat this for a minute and I'll just put it back when I'm done. One should be enough. Come on. <laughs> I just saw it. There it is. And there. No. No, no, no. It has to overlap the other way. Come on. You dirty, dirty. Come on. Alright, now. Let's get those back. Get rid of both of those. Now you have to come and you have to take off the side ones. And yep, I did mess that up. Now nah, we can fix it. It's, it's, it'll still work if we do like this. So, now you have that part. I have a feeling I'm not down two on that one. Let's find out if the door will fit. And this is... Just kill me. This is so twitchy getting this right. Oh, oh, oh. Eh, come on. 
I'm not down enough. I figured I figured that would happen. Okay, that should be good. <laughs> Getting this thing in there just right is such a pain. Come on. Because you have to do the windows first. You can't do it with the you can't do the door with the windows in there. All right, let's go a little bit extra so that I have, so I am down on both of those and I don't have anything in there. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I think it's too high. Yeah, it's too high right there. Come on, do it. Oh, I've got it. There it is. There it is. Got it. Whoa. That's such a pain. All right. So now we're going to three, four, five, and I'm going to have to add one right there. Right there. All right. So now if I open this up, there you go. So you have this nice arched way. Now there is a drawback. You got a door halfway in, the, in your floor on the back side. The way, I, the way I fixed it on this one is added a wall to cover the door when it's open. So I close it, it's right like that. I open it, well, I opened it the wrong way, of course, but if I open it the correct way on the inside, I don't know, that's kind of a vibe all in of itself. But you can see, it, it looks the part. You know, it looks the part of, of a, a water seep or sewage seep that you would see at the edge of a castle. So that's how you begrudgingly get through that thing. And that's how you make all these over here. I think it uh, gives you some pretty interesting ideas. Thanks for watching.